What's going on guys? Back with another video, another tutorial. Uh, I know we've been seeing a lot of wool lately, but this time we've got some lamb. I'm going to show you how to French trim some lamb cutlets. So here we have a lamb cutlet rack. And I'm just going to go through the basics on how to trim them up. This is the French trimming method. So you mark down where your chime bone is attached there. That can come off. You get a little bit of paddy whack out of the flesh. These are pretty straightforward. And you've got a little bone in here and it's got a funny little shelf that sort of goes in and around. You'll see it's got like a step on it. So you're coming in, peeling that back. Be careful not to go too far and go into your fillet. And then there's a flat surface that runs perfectly underneath there. That one should pull straight out. That's that little step I'm talking about. Comes up and over. Now, where the, uh, where the eye is here, you can see that little eye. That is going to be your, your guide point. So essentially it's the same both sides. This one you can't really see as good. But that is where the tip of your knife should start. You want to be going just above that and following that bone straight across, going hard into the bone. You're not going to wreck any fillet this way. I know I've got a glove on, but it's always good practice. Just keep your fingers away from the direction you're cutting in. The bone's nice and clean. Now you have your inner costumes. So that's just the muscle grouping that goes in between your bones there. You go so far down. I've left this back strap part on here for a bit of a guide so you're not going too far down doing your intercostals and marking into your meat. It gives you a bit of a, a point there to sort of aim towards. So you're just going in and out with these. missing on the end. There should be another rib bone there, but that one's kind of short. So all we'll now to do that, we'll clean that one up, get rid of that. Now we have our French trim cutlet rack. That's the French trimming method. You can clean them up as best as you'd like, but uh, we're actually going to use this rack for some uh, crumb lamb cutlets. So to go further from there and prepare them, this part can actually come off the back. Some places will leave it on, some places will take it off, but it's really, it's optional. Now you're left with nothing but your lamb fillet. Once again, the fat is optional whether you want that off or on, but we like to lean these up a little bit. Now to cut them, you don't want to be just going straight down between every bone because you're going to get to these end ones here where there's not a great deal of fillet left on the, the cutlet and you're going to have some uneven cutlets so I like to try and sometimes start from the smaller end and work towards your bigger end that way you're always going to know you're going to have more meat to when you're getting to the end. You want to get them like that and as you're moving along you can start evening your angle up there on your blade there you go, you're left with cutlets with plenty of meat on them. You're not getting any that are missing out. You've got all your cutlets there. There we go, cheers for watching.